Uh, I nominated Alan, my son, for the Stroke Champion Award because I felt that he, uh, the enormity of the, the, the task that he took on to run 35 marathons in 35 days was a, a huge task and I, I think that he is worthy of being put forward. I remember Tuesday morning uh, on, uh, on the 15th of March, uh, I uh, just uh, felt really bad. Uh, I felt my head and my side going, going numb. I didn't know what it was. I, d I knew it was something serious. I heard about my dad's stroke when I was in Scotland. I was on um, an exchange with the uh, college. And my mother rang me up and just basically said that he was in trouble and he was after having a stroke. I wasn't aware really of what it was, so that's when I sort of went on to Google and the Heart Foundation had a lot of helpful information there to explain what it was and what to expect over the coming year and, or further even. I organised to do uh, 35 marathons in 35 days, which was a, a full lap of Ireland, to try to get a bit of awareness about the Act Fast campaign and also to um, get money for the National Rehabilitation Hospital and Football Village of Hope that my dad's organising. Yeah, when I uh, told me first what he intended doing it, I said, my God, you know, are you mad? Like, that's, a, that's a hell of a task. I mean, you really need to think about what you're, what you're actually going to do. And he said, well, I, I've thought about it and I've worked it out that, you know, we can uh, get awareness of the stroke and make, make people, get people interested in what I'm doing and, and in turn make, make people more aware of, of how to handle the stroke and what to do and, and act fast would be a big help to everybody. It was back in, in January, I suppose, I sort of started um, making plans for it and then my dad had the stroke in March which really gave me sort of a, a kick and a reason to go for it. I, I, was, I was contemplating doing it but I didn't really have that extra kick to go for it and have my dad having a stroke made me realise that well I can actually raise a lot of awareness here and a lot of money for charity. Um, then I began to, to plan it, obviously there's a lot of organisation going into getting a marathon a day um, and I met up with Jerry Duffy during the summer who did 32 marathons so he gave me the, the training programme which I was able to follow for the year. Well we used to speak on the phone most days and uh some of his friends that were on the run with him always used to keep me informed of what's going on, so I knew he was making steady progress. <laughs> Most days uh, his morale was very good. Obviously there was days when you know his knee was at him or his blisters were at him and suffering a bit, but he uh, he was he was obviously prepared to walk through the pain barrier to, to get to, to achieve his goals, which was good, which he did. I started in Watford on the 27th of May, and we went um, anti-clockwise around the country. Um, we began 27th May, finished the 30th of June here in the RSC in Waterford. So it was the Viking Marathon was the last one, which was it was nice to finish in my hometown with a lot of home support out on the streets. Compared to all the other 34 marathons, I was basically on my own with just my support group. So it was nice to have the crowd around for the last one. My dad's after making a great recovery from the point where he was um, after getting the stroke, he wasn't able to talk properly, he wasn't able to get out of his bed, and um, he had no independence basically. So now he's back driving, back working and his, his speech is back, so he's very lucky to be where he is.